Hey. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Welcome again to Spotlight on Home. We're Chris and Katie Corbett. Yep. Same, same two <laughs> same as last <laughs> time. <laughs> you lucky people. <laughs> Gluttons for punishment. Welcome. But thanks. Thanks for Welcome to here. listening to us rant. Wow. You know, some old homeschoolers <laughs> watching this and like, yeah, okay, juniors. You really know, right? Yeah. It's so funny. It's all relative. Yeah. So on this episode, I thought what we'd talk about was um, looking for and how to find opportunities that are unique to homeschoolers. And so we could use this opportunity just to kind of get the juices flowing for you, the creative juices, and share with you some of the stuff we've done that if our kids were in school all day, we wouldn't have been able to do. Right. So one of the coolest things we found was near our home is a, since we live in Northeast Pennsylvania, uh, you know, it was one of the 13 colonies. There's a lot of historical sites some of the oldest history is here Mm -hmm. in between new york new jersey and pennsylvania is some of the great history obviously massachusetts but that's a little bit of a jump but you know Mm -hmm. the constitution was written here van franklin lived here everybody a lot of fighting was done here so uh there's a lot of cool stuff here right and so for us there is a, a living historical museum just down the road from our house. And they have a program for homeschool kids that can come. They uh, are given, uh, like they're trained and they are actually allowed to give tours at the museum. And so when um, school kids come in, public school or private school kids, they they are the ones who give the tour. And so it was so much fun. We had our older kids do this and um, I had to make their costumes and, you know, because they tell you exactly what they should look like and what type of fabric and material it is and um they give you the pattern don't be impressed it was literally like i I, like one stitch it was really archaic actually it's not not good but um you know they they learned so much anyway but at the same time they had so much fun because the, the because it's a living museum they have to be in character and they have to be in the time period that the that the museum replicates and so the kids would get off the bus and they'd see kids at this farm you know dressed just like they're supposed to be dressed from long ago and you know either helping in the garden or helping ma in the kitchen or Making you know the beds. Ma- yeah or sleeping tight yeah, tightening helping, up the beds yeah, yeah. helping make bread in the in the wood fire oven outside mm-hmm. or helping with the farm animals like they they got to do all this stuff and then um the kids that were visiting were like do you really live here? Like, is this your, and you know, and they, they all had a relationship. So they'd be like, Oh, this is my ma or this is my aunt or, you know, and the, and they just loved it. Like for them, it was so much fun. And they got that exposure for public speaking, for history. They think learned about it. so much. Think what can be covered here. They mm-hmm. had stage names and they had, yeah. they were not allowed to break character yeah. all day. So there's theater. It's yeah. historical. Right. Um, they, at that place, they they discuss the science behind how mm-hmm. a lot of stuff work, which is, is lost. Yeah, well, they go over gardening. They go and over all the gardening. Stuff, so, yeah. um, they, and levers they, and machines. Sorry, they still no, that's right fine. Yeah, they still right. saw the ice out of the the lake right, right. there, <clears> and <throat> they have an ice house, mm-hmm. and that ice is in that ice house all year long, yeah. which is actually fascinating to me. They wrap it up in straw, right. and um, they put it in this little lowered house with a roof and. They, I mean, that, if that's not science, I, yeah. I don't know what is. Yeah. Oh, they even do antique. Uh, they do antique types of cooking. Oh, right. They show you how to card wool and yeah. make linen. They, mm-hmm. um, did I say the old instruments? Um, you didn't say. I yeah, didn't but, say that, but yeah. man, that goes inside <laughs> here. Uh, I mean, what you you know now when it comes to the time when you got to fill out your year's curriculum and what did my child mm-hmm. do? They were there a few yeah. weeks and this. Yeah, plus you, leadership you, and, right, and leadership. public speaking. Right, and, right, right, right. You know, all speaking. these other, like it was really. A lot is covered yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And it was an amazing opportunity that they would not have had a chance to participate in if they were um, if they were in school all day. Because they just, they would not be available then when the school kids would come in. So something like that is so unique to homeschoolers. But if you co- look around wherever God put you and say, okay, what opportunities are available for me that I can offer to my kids that maybe I wouldn't have been able to, um, and then go for it and, and see what comes up for you. And um, you can always make a phone call and inquire like, hey, what what can I do for my kid? Like, do you have some kind of homeschool program? I think you'd be shocked um, mm-hmm. that actually a lot of places really do right. because homeschool kids are available during the day when tours would be going on. So that, And then typically homeschool kids are 
are more responsible. Um, they are more mature on a whole. You know, um, they usually welcome that uh, those those types of people into it. So definitely look into that. Did you have anything? Uh, to well, no, to we went point? to the mini the mineral museum up in mm -hmm. Franklin. Uh, yeah. That was, to me was good because I was in the mining industry at the time, and uh, you know the the kids got to dig around and they learn stuff and uh, it it was cool, especially because my kids knew that I was in. To mm -hmm. mining already, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Dad, yeah, look at, oh, like this is what Daddy sees, and this is right. what we do, and I, we do this, but they're hunting, they chase a vein, I'm chasing yeah. a, a laser line because yeah. I'm digging tunnels for subways and stuff like that, so you know, it, it's cool. The kids are asking great questions yeah. again because we're engaged mm -hmm. with them. You know? Yeah, another thing you might want to consider is once all the other kids go back to school, things definitely get quiet. Um, so going to like, <laughs> taking a field trip to a museum uh the, going um, to the beach well uh the aquarium in camden yeah yeah That's different places one. you know you get a lot of the summer camps and and kids that are just off of school in the summer things get really crowded and also like the end of the school year that's when they get their field trips in but if you go to these places in the off season a lot of times you can get discounts because they they still want to you know have the revenue um but you also get the luxury of you're not like kind of herded along with the the big groups or get mm -hmm. like kind of run over by them so you have the, the luxury shop owners are as tired time. of dealing with people yeah. yeah yeah and so you know take advantage of that like normally your kids would be in school in september and they don't really do field trips that early in the year so you really could go places and we've done this now almost since day one go places yeah. in september october in the fall prior to christmas you really get uh you you really get um, almost one on one attention yeah, with different uh, docents and stuff like that. Well, we we had uh, mentioned before that we started our homeschooling on the road. Mm -hmm. And that trip, we went almost across the country. We went as far as we could sort of stomach, and then it was time to come home. Yeah. Hey, you were pregnant. I was pregnant, and yeah, I was yeah, just. We were after, on the road for yeah, almost a month already. Yeah. And we were um, toting around. I was yeah. pregnant with our fifth. So yes, and was, towing we four done. youngins that were, you know, yeah. in the car a long time. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, our favorite place uh, was South Dakota mm. and the uh, the Black Hills section. And it was after the motorcycle people left, mm -hmm. after the bulk of the crowd was yeah. over. Because that, that Sturgis thing is kind of yeah, the, like the, end the of culmination August, of you know? everything. Yeah. We got so much great treatment because... They were winding down. They were kind of mm -hmm. like packing up the last of the chairs. Yeah, they were like, "What was? Ready. It's beautiful." It was a hundred degrees when we were there. Yeah, uh, but yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't a bad hundred. It was a nice hundred, and I hate the heat. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh yeah, no. After next week, we're gonna pack up." And I said, "Why?" He goes, "Oh, it's Dakota. You know, winter's coming." And yeah. we, we we were like floored. Like, yeah, it's so beautiful. Uh, but we hit the magic two weeks in a certain section of the mm -hmm. country where. The kids had gone back to work. Everybody was at uh, work, back to school, mm -hmm. and the parents were kind of hit work full time. All the vacations were kind of over, right. and we kind of like float in this wake. Yeah, it was actually quite excellent. Yeah, it was. And really you good. can do that locally. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, yeah. And so, one of the things that uh, you want to also think about is the National Park Service has mm -hmm. some really great historical learning opportunities for the kids and depending on your child's grade you can get a national park pass it's called every kid outdoors and if you i think it's every kid outdoors just google it there's yeah. a website for it it's like a movement so they right now yeah right now if you're if you have a child who's in fourth grade you can print that pass out and you or your child and anybody in the vehicle uh, as long as it's non-commercial, can go. Or not go. one of those gargantuan homeschool vans. I don't know. It's it said up three, to three adults, adults and, and then the kids. Whatever kids. Because um, under 17, I think, was free, wasn't it? 16 was I imagined. Don't I, don't I don't remember. remember. But, I mean, although we, we do have four savings. adults if we were all together because we got yet. Jess. Jess is, yeah, even Mary for some things. Oh, adult. well, I guess it That's depends, five adults. Technically. But, Still, yeah. you get most of the yeah. car in for free. So there's some opportunities there, too, which are, especially if I know when you're homeschooling, a lot of times families are on a single income, right? Mm. And so you want to look for opportunities. Like, how can I get them life experiences without right. breaking the bank, right? right? And so these, these are some opportunities that are unique to you. So the National Park Pass, you can, um, it, it was like a 10-year-old or a fourth grader. So if you have either of those, go for it. You know, print it out. And then, you know, take a trip probably... Even if you only did one. Yeah, well, I don't think... Even you know, if you pay full price. But there's it's national eight, parks it's like, $80. within 
probably a few hours of wherever you are well, in the I'll, U.S., right? I, I would assume so. I, I don't know. We're so. kind of in a busy section. We are but... a little spoiled because we are in the northeast corner right. of the U.S., and so there's a lot that goes on. Like, we're only really we're influenced 10... by New York and Philadelphia. Yeah, and Boston, we're only ten yeah. minutes from New Jersey, so right. it's you know we're in a really kind of uh, check your area, see what your towns uh, or your county offers because we have something called Bushkill Falls. Yeah. And oh, yeah, uh, it's free right. if you have a driver's license from this area. Right. Yeah, with the zip code, I think. So right? the, yeah, something with the zip, with the, 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 the section you're in. Right. And uh, we get to just wave it and mm-hmm. go right in. Yeah. And, you know, when we walk in, there's 10 people. Right. So it's a huge savings yeah, for us. Yeah, it's tremendous savings. Also, your local library. We talked about it um, in our last podcast. But consider your local library. A lot of times, and, and I would ask, okay, um, a lot of times they have either zoo passes for a local zoo that you can take the passes out for or local passes for a museum or um, different different places that you would need a pass to go to. You can take the pass out of the library for the day and go enjoy it. Now, I would assume, like, for example, for us, there are zoo passes for a local zoo. Um, you would probably have to plan ahead. But I'm guessing come September, the passes are probably more readily available than they would be, like, over the summer or at the end of the school year. Um, so it's definitely worth it, especially if you're on a budget and you're looking to save money. Right. So check out and see what you're – I mean, it might be something obscure that you never heard of. Like, oh, we have passes to this – you know, small. There's one. There's a museum by us called the the Indian Museum. I yeah, think. Yeah, right? I'm still Isn't wanting to go called? there. Yeah. And so our local library probably has passes that we could take mm-hmm. out and go to it, and that's a huge budget saver for us. But also, it's something that I, you know, maybe wasn't even on my radar before. But now that the passes are available, like, hey, right. let's go check it out. Why not? Your, right. So there's definitely things to check out with that. Your town or county may have a oh, yeah. historical association. We have mm-hmm. uh, yeah. one right here in the corner of town. Um, those people are usually well tuned in to a million of these, like under for us because we're pop, right? You know we kind of drive around and go shopping but you know these people they're on the inside of a lot of this stuff mm-hmm. uh they'll know oh you know there's this 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 township's field they have tickets at their municipal building for some little theater or or something oh, yeah, yeah, yeah th- these things right. are happening everywhere and you know as cool as broadway is <laughs> a lot of people aren't going to be able to go there yeah. these days um you may not want to go there uh mm-hmm. <laughs> these days i i, mm-hmm. I work near there um, you know, I, I, I was never a big sports guy, but I did love her brother played baseball. Mm-hmm. There was nothing better to me than watching the local kids play ball. Oh, sure. Because these Definitely. big money guys, I don't, they, they don't love me, but I get mm-hmm. to go home and I, I hang out with her and her brother and her father was a coach and all these other things. These people I actually love. So why don't you get to know your local theater troupe? Right. Yeah, there's a there's a You did um, a few of those. Oh yeah, and there there are and local I'd say most people don't even know that's right. even going on. You drive past right. those stuff cuz you know You're right though. Yeah, cuz near us there's like Buster. Shawnee, <laughs> right? There's like the Shawnee Playhouse it's called mm-hmm. and it's So I think that there's probably a lot of and and if they're having auditions and your kid is into theater, that's, you know, uh, there's a piece of co-op to, there yeah, you know there, that covers definitely. it. Uh yeah, yeah, that uh going all the way back to the uh, old farm. If you want to, if you could teach them a piano, but you don't maybe do theater, that local uh, thing that covers all those yeah. things. Plus, it kind of covers their need for a co-op. There's a there's a group of people there. There are, many of them are older and wiser uh, in a lot of things that you might not be wiser in, and right. uh, you know they know stuff. I forget what that one instrument is called. That guy plays all kinds of these oh, fancy old instruments. Yeah. It's a neat one, so I forget. Cool. Yeah, but, I know. Uh, I don't think of it yeah. at like 3 a.m. Yeah, once we're done. As soon as I hit stop, I'm like, oh, it's <laughs> oh, yeah. the, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then the last point was, um, you know, imagine, look at, so one of the coolest things about being able to homeschool is like you really get to know your kids on a different level and you'll get to know their strengths and their weaknesses, but also their interests and really what kind of lights them up and what they can't stop talking about or gets Mm. them excited, especially as they move up into the high school years. So friends of ours, they actually, um, they got started uh, knitting and weaving and then they started uh, breeding rabbits, Angora rabbits for the 
for the fiber, I think it's called. It's not hair, it's fiber. Mm, yeah, don't and then I know it. I've I've done that before and I've gotten a lecture <laughs> and I, I have no clue. I'm like, listen, I make babies, I don't know how to do much else. So right. anyway, so um like the, and then the other th- yeah. And then the <laughs> other thing the other animal they got were alpacas and again for the fiber I think is alpacas is as well. Fiber. Yeah. So <laughs> So, so they, that it started with just a love of weaving, and, and then they got into the fiber arts, and, and now they're raising bunnies, and they're breeding them, and then they're selling the bunnies to other fiber artists, and they're raising alpacas, and they're selling the alpaca they fiber spin their by own the yarn. pound. They do. It, it just started yeah, as a hobby. They can sell it now, raw or spun. They do, and now they make like gorgeous shawls, right. and they give farm tours, and then one of them was in, so interested in the breeding and, and, and the care of all these animals like she volunteers or I guess you could say interns all through high school with a local vet and so she's learning so much and and helping and learning a work ethic and all these things where if they went to school all day they wouldn't really have time to learn all these other things and really get become artisans in this one specific and, and area a useful you know? trades person absolutely and business now they're like business women yeah, business now. women and I tell you, you know, it's a uh, alpaca or Angora rabbit shawl is more money than I have. Yes. And but it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful it's and gorgeous. they feel amazing. Yeah. Uh, but these yeah. are truly crafted things. Right. Really grown, you know, kind of like that organic, grown from the earth, made by hand. Yeah. I mean, this is quality stuff. But it was just a hobby. Right. Just started out as an interest. It was naturally developing, but then it just grew and grew and grew. And and now they have a whole industry. Right. Um, they have a farm, they have like right. eight alpacas they have right. 20 rabbits that they're breeding and so you say in the amazing. end when the power goes out who you who do you want as your friend i, I need a, i need a shawl you know I need, yeah they make their own stuff need a it's woolly really pair amazing. of pants or something let's go so anyway those are all kind of really fun opportunities like our our, our daughter is very you know loves um she would volunteer at a local christian camp and conference center and she mm-hmm would help clean and set up and get ready and and do volunteer hours for their for them and um like that was her way of learning an industry and learning how to be available wasn't there one specifically for the vet the one over by the the old ford dealership wasn't there a homeschool meetup i think he actually went with heather oh yeah yeah, yeah like, they, they did yeah. they they'll go yeah, through a field trip yeah 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 different things but all of that's all free start, right yeah that was through the mom's group or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Someone so. was like, why don't we take a trip to a veterinarian? And they love to talk about their industry. I, I once had at our co-op, I would teach health for the little kids. And so I had a dentist come in and they talked all about oh, you're fun. tooth brushing. <laughs> I know. I'm not, I'm not fun. Sorry. No, but she has a really great one. And every now and then I see it in the drawer. It's... it's um, Oh, glow germ? G- glow germ, which is really mm-hmm. fun. You put this germs on your hand and you go wash your hands. And then it's uh, it's fluorescent under the black light, and you can see how lousy a job we all do washing our hands. You mm-hmm. know, there's germs in your cuticles and the crevices, and yeah. you know, some kids just you yeah. Know, I teach a it's cooking class. It's all over their class. clothes. You know, yeah. I would teach a cooking class at our co-op, That's and so right. the very first class, That's I would right. talk about hand washing and making sure, but. I teach that because before I had kids, I used to work at the health department and at the health department as a health educator, the restaurants would have to come in every year and qualify for their restaurant safety. And so myself and the health inspector would give, um, the class, like we would teach the health and safety so that the hand washing thing was like one of the things that I would go over with them and like temperatures and that kind of thing for food. So, so, and, and, at the co-op, uh, the cooking year, I was supposed to do the ribs and cast iron over coals. But did that my work schedule change? I don't know. Or was it Corona? That it was the no. Wor- I think that was the I next think year. your work schedule changed, work schedule and changed. I wound up going stepping back in because I had a baby, That's right. and then your work schedule changed That's right. like two weeks later, and That's I'm like, right. just go. Yeah. Because there's and, opportunities uh, for dads, like I, like yeah, I work these weird shifts, know. or I don't. It's true though. Yeah. We're available in the morning right now. Oh, like, so yeah. it's the morning right now. Yeah. We're recording this. Uh, we they slipped up here. It was a Tuesday oldest, morning. Our yeah. oldest is watching the little guys for right. us, so we can just record a quick session with you guys, and then he'll he'll leave for work. Yep. In a little bit. Actually, we should probably wrap this up. Yeah, anyway, actually, you do going. have to go. Um, but that anyway, I just wanted to share all this with you, uh, just to kind of get your juices flowing. Like, okay, we're homeschoolers. Let's enjoy the benefit and the freedom yeah. that homeschool offers. And like, let's look around and get creative. Like the, we're not, 
this is really the takeaway I want you to get from this is like you are not confined to the walls of your home when it comes to homeschooling. Right. In fact, your homeschool learning, not that you have to constantly be going all over the place because that would might wear you out, but your learning could be anywhere, doing anything and, and any kind of activity that is really, you know, a worthy. simple trip to the grocery store. If yeah. you're engaged with your child, yeah. you can talk about what it is. We could talk about yeah. taxes. We could talk about, you know, why is have it 99 the cents? The yeah, or, right. You know, yeah, put like it all in there. little things. Have, yeah. help, having them help you create a balanced menu. Right. And, and, you know, I've yeah. heard of some homeschoolers, like they're, you know, like one of the high school homeschoolers, like they had to clip the coupons and, and do all that. So, like, we, we don't right. really eat a lot of the food. We, we try to eat a little bit more of like we very little whole boxed foods food, right? and and like I like to cook, so that's not an issue. And plus, my background is in health, so I like <laughs> the to complaint have here is stuff. that there's no food, oh, there's only ingredients. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing to eat. Yeah, there's, there's no just, chips. I'm like, sorry, that's yeah. not how we roll. So anyway, um, shots, anything right? can become an educational Jeez. opportunity, but enjoy the freedom that you get from homeschooling, so that you're not tied down to the house and feeling isolated or feeling bored or feeling. Like, uh, I, I, you know, all their learning is on my shoulders. Like, no, there's yeah. a world out there that can really enrich all of your lives, not just yeah. not just your children, but there's so many. And that actually getting involved in some of the really cool things around you helps you build community too. It'll help you make connections with other homeschooling families mm -hmm. that you may not have had interaction with before. So it's definitely worth checking out what's available to you. Uh, think outside the box, but enjoy the journey. Definitely, um, yeah. you know, make the phone calls, do the research, see what comes up for you, ask questions, talk to people. Talk to us. Yeah. Uh, we don't know it all. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you, oh, yeah, we'd love to share and yeah. hear your experiences, Who knows? Maybe too. you live in Massachusetts and you know a oh, quaint little yeah. town or something. That's only a couple hours drive for us. We could we could run up upstate New York, Ohio, whatever. Uh, yeah. If you know something that we don't, th that, that actually we would be a fun thing to do in just our an exchange. community. We'll do an exchange. Would be like spotlight on homeschoolers. And if you have something cool that you want to share, right. like, oh, you know, like, so for us, like, I could take you to the local yeah, you know living quiet right. yeah living museum near us and mm -hmm. like you know tell you about it and then if someone's in pennsylvania they could be like oh i'm gonna make i'm gonna definitely sure. check, check that out so maybe we'll do that like right. spotlight on cool activities you know from homeschoolers and, and you can highlight two, two it things. and send it in you have something. to tell us what it is and where it is and why and and, and how yeah and uh, a good place to eat a good place to eat. <laughs> right after, there you go. after we're done. All right. That's fair. I think that's fair. <laughs> All right. And we'll close on that. I think. All right. So <laughs> head over to Spotlight on Home uh, and you can download our free 10 tips to get you started homeschooling yep. now. And it's it's including all this stuff that we're going over, but it has links and just different um, tips that you can read it really quick and help you refresh your memory. Take a quick look at us on Instagram. Yes. Head it's over quick. to It's Instagram. just a picture of us. And also join our wait list. <laughs> join our wait list for our membership community. I think it's really going to be yeah. awesome. Yeah. We're kind of working behind the scenes now to get right. it all going. But I think yeah. um, what we'll be making will be like amazing. The first for probably you guys. eight or ten episodes are going to get spilled out onto the internet really fast. And, and uh, yeah, and then monthly we'll update it with yeah. no, with new yeah. um, new Couple content and and, and, and a month. probably time. You know, like based on what month it is, maybe we'll have a theme. I just and thought of something else too, um, to to do. What? You're going to tell apps. them? Oh, yeah. yeah I think like an app would be Good fun. apps. All this stuff oh, is in oh, our app head, app for guys. us? Oh, that'd be fun, too. Yeah. But I mean, like, useful apps. Oh, homeschool apps. You know? That's a yeah. good one. They're not yeah, necessarily homeschool app. apps, but they're apps that, that are very we useful. We could maybe even do um, uh, maybe a podcast episode on, like, our favorite apps, our right. favorite tools, homeschool apps right. slash tools or resources that would be fun some are free some are not yeah all right let's wrap it up yep. though okay Very good. yep thanks guys for joining thank us thank you so much <laughs> take care have a good day bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.